And hey. Sensei, please, good evening. Hi. Uh, re, uh, uh, Lauren, tell me the title of tonight. <laughs> Energy Balance Manifests Qualities. Uh, this is a continuation uh, uh, from last week, maybe a bit from the week before. Uh, it really uh, uh, teaches a uh, comment about his, um, um, what does he call it, um, workshop, uh, where they're going in for a whole week or 10 days of love. And percentage, a small percentage of the group find that, especially the new ones, find themselves uh, getting uptight angrier, okay? And, uh, uh, and then the complications you could spin around on about that, gee, I, I must not be very loving. I thought I was, but apparently I'm not. I'm getting irked. Uh, uh, Maybe those people over there can do it, but I can't. And you go on and on and on to make up even more weird stories uh, to the point where you may run away from the workshop. <laughs> uh, that piqued my in interest. We talked about it a bit last week. Uh, and I want to go over again or try to be clearer on uh, quite, maybe we should look at this as there's an energy push in relation to the quality. So that diagram there, there's a quality, like say love in, in a, a meta, that's at a meta workshop, uh, love, great love. And, and some people were pushed, okay, uh, into not being very loving. Uh, so let's take the approach that there's an energy relationship. So the energy is pushing. So I would surmise if we do a basic energy flow practice, not in that case, not try to, uh, where's the love here? I'm getting uptight. Uh, don't deal with love right now. You're being pushed. Just deal with it as a basic energy push, okay? And, and just balance with the basic of up and down or in and out, whatever form of uh, energy beats that are you find conducive to your system. Uh, but basic to say up and down, easy, easy with the energy. As you settle and open a bit, the energies, of course, have more room to balance. And in the more room, they might be a, a better level of, uh, of energies balancing, okay, up and down. And then at a certain level of balance, the quality that's there can begin to show, where you can experience, begin to feel it. Uh, it'll be part of the mix of you, the character. Okay, where, where am I, where am I? Uh, so we covered some of that last week. Um, any, any comments, questions, whatever from last week uh, uh, that we maybe could or should clarify uh, before I continue? Anybody, anything? Open mic. <clears throat> Sensei, this is Bonnie. Uh, can you just do a quick refresher on the, the, the image, the picture you have on the board? Oh, you weren't here. You want me to repeat. Oh, boy. I think I said it. Okay, we're looking at this guy here, that there's a quality uh, trying to come into play. So these people are at a loving workshop, and some of them start getting pissy. What happened? And I'm presenting that uh, we should look at it like an energy radiating from the quality, however you want to say it. Uh, and because that energy is moving, it's pushing them. And when you get pushed by energy, you could move into tighter and heavier and angry. How can this be? I'm at a love workshop. 
Okay, so I don't know how else, how clear to make that. You're gonna have to be satisfied with that. I don't think I can clarify it anymore. I'm waiting for a response, but we don't need one. Satisfied, Sensei. Okay. Ah, uh, anybody? Anything here? <clears throat> yeah, I think there's. Yeah. There, this is Sean. I think yeah. that there are many levels or gradations before you get to that character that you're talking about. Oh. Um, the characters who what characters? <clears throat> well, no, I'm just saying that when that in the beginning there's this up and down, and then uh, you also said in and out. For me, that's that's oh, whichever, like, which which whichever style you want to use. You want to do round and center circle. You want to do whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Whatever you're using for balance, you want to use left hand, right hand. You want to use inhale, exhale. I don't care. They're all cool. What, which one do you happen to like? So that's where I'm in with that. Is that, are, are we okay? Am I missing yeah, anything? but it, I mean, you don't just jump to character after doing that once or twice. It seems as if there's oh, much yeah. more. Yeah, of um, course, never, never once or twice. Of course, of course. Uh, it's not once, twice. Okay, I got it. I'm somebody. Of course, not once or twice. That's why we repeat things over and over. That's why we do the same technique over and over. We don't do usually a technique for 12 seconds and quick another technique and quick another technique. We stay on one for 15 minutes, half an hour uh, to get that balance. So yeah, of course it's not one move. Yeah, of course. Yep. Okay, what, uh, one uh, thing that a uh, couple of people mentioned after last week was they were uh, perplexed, uh, caught their attention that in this uh, example of a loving thing pushing them into uh, uh, more uptight, angrier, uh, why it was the opposite. I, I sort of didn't like that word opposite. Uh, I, I don't want to for you to get lost a certain way. Uh, I would prefer to lay it out like this. I don't have a diagram for it, but uh, you're, uh, you're on your track. You're, you're you doing you and, and boom. And there's something more there that pushes you, okay? Uh, the push will go from lighter let's say you're having a fair day, but you're getting pushed and getting heavier and dizzier, uh, into uh, heavier, okay? The creation unfolded very light, and then it showed uh, the not so light, and then it began to show heavier, and then it began to show really heavy. All those dimensions are here. So when we get pushed, I lose my stance, the level I'm at, and I can get pushed into tighter, also called tighter, heavier. Basically what it is, is a three, two, one. Okay, we, we played with one, two, three. But let's look at the opposite of, of it. I'm feeling pretty good, but I wanna really be great. Suddenly I'm being pushed. It could push me past my two by into a one by and even tighter. And I can go crazy about that. I can really spin off on that one. Uh, so this, uh, uh, so I don't think of it as being an opposite quality. I think of it as, as moving into a tighter, thicker, heavier sense. Not do to Bobby or weird Bobby. It's just pushing it to tighter. Uh, so I kind of prefer that to the sense of, oh, it's, why is it opposite? I, I don't know. For some reason, I, I don't care for the word. Did I mumble that up too much? Did I screw that over? No end. Some somebody, Bob. Did I screw that over? No, no end. Noah. Uh, no, Sensei. It was just fine. It, it, it's not what you're saying. Is it's not the opposite. It's the fullness of the very quality that you're trying to uh, grow with. So if you got nice and and 
more nice is trying to happen, but you don't know it's energy related. You could get pushed into less nice, get pushed into not nice, get pushed into I never was nice and I ain't ever going to nice and pushed into hatred. <laughs> it's not the opposite. It's you're being pushed smaller, tighter. Okay, I kind of prefer that to the word op opposite. Was that important for anybody? That's oh. important. Okay. Inside Danny here. Oh, I think it's important that that we don't get carried away with some of the words of what we're feeling, and and concentrate a little more on, on how the quality is changing and how it, why does it feel heavy and what's what's happening. Thank you. And again, yeah, right there, maybe we shouldn't at that moment call it a quality. Maybe we ought to go back to the first simple basic of I'm being pushed by energy. How do I know I'm starting to get uptight uh, and not call it that quality? I, mean, I don't know, would that facilitate? Why is love pushing me into uptight? Uh, I could add a little confusion. Love isn't pushing you uptight. The energy push of more of that is pushing you. Up. But let's keep, the, let's keep it the simple basic. Let's, let's go back to our, 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 I hope we covered quite well, energy push flow. Energy pushes, energy pulls. There's a boom, boom to an energy, okay? It uh, exhales, inhales, if you would. Uh, goes out, comes back. Uh, that's where downtime comes from. Goes out, and it comes down, and, and, and from that, place, boom, goes back out again. And we take advantage of that late, later when we realize it, there's a chance to move into a finer dimension. So boom, it comes back out on that beat of finer dimension. Or for following qualities, that's a trick to touch a finer level of the quality. Boom, and there's more caring, whatever your quality is you're going for. Boom, here you're going there. Ah, am I all over the board yet? Are we okay? Yeah, Sensei, this is Lauren. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, it seems to me that when we balance our energies, okay. right, that our system increases its capacity to, let's say, channel or feel more energy, whatever is welling up, whatever quality, without getting uptight, without getting squeezed and smaller, that the energy balance enables the system to tolerate or um, experience the upwelling of quality more uh, 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 than if you're not un if you are unbalanced, and so you don't get pushed into this, if you can, let's say, be balanced or hold your balance while you feel this uprushing of energy, you're not pushed into a smaller space. You can stay there yeah. and experience yeah. that increased. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so basic, basic. There starts to be a push. I say right there, you, oh, I'm, there's a push. How do I know I'm starting to feel the push? We've covered that. I put you people in a wind tunnel. So you can begin to feel how, how an energy push can affect you, okay? Uh, later, you get very quick with it and you can feel this beginning surge of a movement that's later gonna become a push. Uh, you pick up a bit earlier. You don't wait here pushed into, I'm so angry, I'm gonna kill somebody. You don't go that far after a while because you picked it up earlier the first hint of it okay they can usually give you a, hur a hurricane a uh, warning before the hurricane actually hits they, there are signs that it's coming towards you so uh uh anyway uh, uh so settle and open so for lack of words there is more room for the energies to be a little freer and in more room, uh, there's an inherent desire to balance by the energies, if desire is an okay yeah. word. Uh, and 
ah, settle and open. And the energies at that level will balance. Okay. So there now, you're okay at that level. And I'm saying at that better level, there's a, how do you feel now? I'm re, uh, referring to quality, that a quality can show. Oh, I feel uh, calmer. I feel, oh, I'm a nicer person. Oh, I'm, I, I'm a more accepting person. Uh, so you reach a certain level of balance using the energies and then the qualities can begin to show better. Again, am I saying this okay, Lauren? Is, is that yes, okay? Sensei. And just listening to you, it's it's this repeated balancing that changes us over time, so that we can experience these uh, qualities more fully without getting uptight about it. Over time, we change with this repeated process of balancing our energies. And in the repeat, hopefully, you all will be going for a finer dimension. So you're not just repeating. Yes. And after yes. 10 years, I'm still Robert. Yes. Okay. I want to move into Nato. And then I want to move into Sensei. And then I want to move into Pure Me. And then I want to move into... Uh, so take advantage of the beats and the balance that's there to shift dimensions. So that the next beat is finer, mixing up a finer character. Yeah. yeah. So whether, yeah, so whether we go at this as just an energy harmony, smart, good basics, and here we're adding qualities, uh, energy harmony gives the quality there a chance to show. And we'll continue and a better balance. Qualities mix up a character, so there's a better character there. And eventually. I'd like us to get to self, uh, heading towards more of the original self. Uh, don't want to get into that little advance for tonight, but uh, any, anyway, so, but all these earlier steps will facilitate uh, getting better at this, getting faster at this. Um, yeah, so Lauren, yes, it should get better and faster. Oh, Sensei was fast. He could go from this old man to jump in a split second, in one ki, one move. And it's suddenly this transition, this something. Okay, he was fast at this. Well, again, don't worry about fast other than not that far away. It's in, in some way, it's sort of easy. It'll go hard. It's potentially easy. Uh, but we have to go through some of these first, da, 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 to get the flavor of it. Later, it will probably speed up. Later, you can uh, jump faster. Uh, but don't worry about the uh, speed right now. Get your basic click, click, click. Get the flavor of how it works. So better balance. Okay, better chance for the quality or the character to be there better. Is that, is that, are we okay so far, people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sensei? Yo. Sean here again. I think that there's something about you, you, you constantly re reiterate or reinforce the idea of, um, play and make believe and and um it just just sort of like uh jump into the sleeve of being more feeling as if there's a, a, this new upwelling of energy and i think that that's for every level gradation phase i don't know whatever you want to call it um there's that extra bit of self-work where you have to imagine more and I and I think that you you have a great sense of that for yourself and for to see that in others but to see what level they're at as in that you know like one two three or four or five or six or whatever it might be but you you have a sense of like where the 
gradations are. And I think okay. that that's, that's something that's, um, I, I wish you could speak more to. It's preaching. Uh, that's where you have to practice and play, okay? We've done the, the simple games, you remember? Okay, at this level, I raise my arm. Uh, let, let's start he heavier. Oh my God. And I feel all this tension in my shoulder. Almost painful, not quite, but almost. Okay, settle down. Ha, ah, here's a gradation. Settle down. Ah, okay, now this level arm raises. Oh, very little tension in the shoulder. I think it was a little smoother. Ah, easy. Ah, I'm settling down, but I'm in a different level, gradation. Ah, how do I know? I, I just I feel more here. That's a reference. Ah, I'm breathing a bit better. That's a reference. Okay. And at that level, crazy. Ooh, this arm is getting floated up. I, I think no tension or nothing I could feel. It just got floated up. Also, it feels a bit longer. And the beginning of having what an attitude, it wants to, <laughs> whatever that word is there. I don't know. Okay. Hey, we've practiced this before, Sean. Uh, there's an example, go ye and play to recognize your own gradations of what goes on here to what goes on there. Is that true, people? <laughs> That's an example of a practice. You play with it. You, you map your own pattern out. Oh, a certain amount of something here. Ah. And the reference is that something here, ah, something there. And you get a, oh, when I'm more subtle here, just flows easier. Oh, it's more, uh, has more dexterity, has more, uh, there's a word I can't remember, fine touchability. Okay. Ah, in the beginning to catch a relationship, something here something there for feedback. So I set up my own feedback games. Go ye and set them up. There's a million little different games you can make up all based on something like that. So, okay. Uh, <clears throat> the um, human condition. Mm. Tonight's newspaper article is not uh, uh, not my astrology chart. It's Dear Abby. Uh, human condition. Uh, fiance, been together four years. Uh, he's lost a couple of people uh, by death in his family. She just went through a batch all in a row within a couple of years. A bunch of people in her family died. Okay, he goes on to say, I love this woman like I have never loved any other. I can't picture life without her. But lately, uh, he's being affected and he's starting to get pissy. I find myself getting more and more angry. What should I do? Let's look at it like, so his lady is, is, is uh, suffering from all these people in the family dying in a short period of time. So uh, what he, uh, he's probably getting all kinds of qualities. Let's say a, maybe compassion. I don't know, I don't care, but let's say maybe compassion, maybe understanding, maybe patience with her. Okay, a lot of, Things coming at him. How do I know he's being pushed? He's getting angry. We just covered that. He's getting angry. 
Now, if he spins with that, he's going to uh, think, well, I love her. Why am I so angry at her? And now he's got to make up another subset of reasons or theories. And he could really go off on, on that. Right now, he realizes he's getting angry and he wants out. Okay. This is the human condition. And I said, feel for these guys. Okay. Now, I'm not saying he should not run or stay, but at least to make that decision, not from the angry place, but to get more balanced with himself and then make a decision from a more balanced self. Okay. So I'm not going to say, oh, he should leave. No, he should stay no matter what. Uh, I don't know. Get balanced. Get balanced. Get balanced. Better levels of balance. And then see what decision you make. Okay? So I thought that was that story was the same as uh, basically uh, Tija's uh, uh, dialogue about the uh, meta people uh, being pushed by love. This guy's being pushed by something. He's getting angry. He loves this lady. She's the greatest thing ever. But God, I'm getting pissed. Human condition. I, I, I kind of find it sad that certain basics like an energy push aren't well known. Uh, where we get pushed into such a place and make up such stories. God know where he's going to go with that. And denounce himself. <laughs> whatever he's going to do with it. The human condition, I sort of feel. Maybe that's why I'm here. <laughs> I sort of feel a bit. Ah. Okay. <laughs> anything on anything? So, since I this, Eugene, uh, I am wondering if there is a place for being angry and staying angry for some period of time in this process. If you want to, fuck it, hey! Fuck you. I'm not saying acting on this, or kind of being. Uh, okay, being... don't act on it. Uh, uh, yeah, I say, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making a proof like you should never be angry, my son. Go ye and sin no more. I'm not making up rules. But if you find yourself in an angry place and it's negating you. You don't want to be angry. Well, here, now learn some patterns. Catch that push before it pushes you into angry. If you want to stay angry, go ye and be angry. All right. Thank you. I'm not making up rules here. Okay. But if you don't want to be, if you're finding it interfering with your life, if you're finding your lady wants to leave because you're too angry all the time and you don't want her to leave, well, here, here's some tricks that might help. <laughs> okay. So, no rules for me. I'm the great sinner. What can I tell you guys? Don't sin. <laughs> Been there, done that. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, anything for I stand up and shadow box some, shadow box some Aikido moves? Yeah. All right. I'll say something, Sensei. Yeah. It's dusty, if that's okay. Um, it. I work in a special needs class with little like fourth graders, third and fourth graders. And I love what you're saying because it's like they get triggered right and feel super sad or super angry but then and they're told that's kind of wrong our society says that's wrong and it is human nature and if they were told that was okay it would be different yeah i think we touched on this i think last week uh about uh, different people having having different qualities. It's not exactly what you're saying, but uh, and and that we have to appreciate that different people are getting different qualities, uh, and especially as parents and maybe teachers to try to recognize that a particular person is getting a particular quality that may be a little unusual or may not be the one that you appreciate. Uh, 
maybe you're stoic and the kid is laughing all the time. Maybe you think it's a joke. And maybe you don't like that because you're stoic. Is that the right word, stoic? Uh, uh, so to, to have people get more familiar with energy qualities uh, that each individual in, individually has, I've got mine and you've got yours. I'm a martial artist. You're a, a, a teacher of children. So my mix is a bit different than yours. Okay. God, yeah. God forbid you should give me a class full of four year olds. Ah, I don't think. <laughs> At the moment, I'm not ready for that. You, you see, I'm, yeah, I'm getting a rush just, just thinking about it. See, I just don't think I allow the energy. I'm getting a rush just thinking about a class of four-year-olds. Ah, <laughs> oh, now if I had to, had to, I'd have to settle and open, knowing their energy pushes, get balanced, and at a certain level of balance that I could feel after a while, not two beats, Sean, of course, after some minutes, five minutes, I don't know, 10 minutes, whatever. There's a certain level of balance that I feel. Uh, and at that level of balance, who am I? Am I the guy that can cope with four-year-olds? Uh, already here, I'm feeling being very patient, uh, kind of aware and understanding. I don't know what I'm understanding about, but I can feel understanding. If it's not good enough, then I continue. Uh, I want to be better. Boom, here come the energies. I settle and open. I play with the energy beats in some form or other uh, with a sense of we're going finer dimensions because the energy beats are, I don't know, bigger? Finer dimension. And then again, again, Sean, not two beats. I'm fast, but not two beats. Uh, after a few more minutes, then again, at that level of balance, mixes up a character in a class of four-year-olds. Uh, there's a lot of caring here. I almost say loving. That's a little heavy word for me, but a lot of caring going on here. I feel heartfelt. Uh, I don't know. If, like I'm mean, not a protector, a little bit like a protector of children. Uh, 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 they're young plants, and I hold the watering can. Uh, uh, all this is a feeling. It's not a fucking idea. This is a feeling, a natural, because I mix the mix. I got involved with the energy. The qualities are beginning to show. Uh, I can feel it. I can feel my heart. I can feel my uh, calmness with them. It's not an idea. I'm into the mix. That's what we did with the brain map. Thinking, feeling, finer, sense, feeling, finer, sensing, finer, sensing, sensing, sensing. Uh, it's a place where you actually mix, not just an idea. We lose people who, oh yeah, I understand that. Uh, that's, not, that's a nice starting place, but come on, bam, bam, bam. That's why we ground. That's why we settle. That's why we go for the roots activate the stuff anyway you okay with that <laughs> love it thank you ah god okay different forms of balance uh are the camera on yes it is okay uh i'm just going to shadow box through these i don't think i need katcha for this there i am okay uh Okay, in Aikido, uh, okay, Yoko men attack. Uh, check the space here. Boom. Receptive shifts, turning positive. Okay, easy. I settle. A little more room for the energy. Receptive. Felt a hair bit fuller. Positive. Boom, boom, whatever. Ah, the hair better fuller. Easy. Ah, settle. Get open. I got that time. Ah, okay. Receptive. Ooh, that's better. 
positive. Uh, receptive was very good. Positive was didn't follow along. That happens. Ah, so it's my receptive day. But positive will catch up. Ah, uh, so there's a balance, receptive and positive. Uh, now, after a bit, it's like, okay, because of that balance energies, using receptive positive and my ability to feel how much re receptive and positive. I'm just using the body to, to feel that out, to measure them. Because of that balance, boom, there's a quality here. But at first, quality might be too big a word. Uh, what did you get out of doing that practice? What are you feeling? Well, I feel more present. Okay, good. Ah, what else? You did receptive and positive. And here you are. Ah, I feel more capable. Good. Okay, so at first it may not show as a quality per se, but that, oh, I feel more capable, I feel more present, uh, I feel whatever, whatever. But that's a starting place. As we continue and we get a, a better level of energies or balance of energy, then there might be a more quality sense of the words. Okay, they, they might be, qualities might be in what I said, feeling more capable. I just off the top wouldn't call that quality per se, but, but that, that's fine, okay? But the point is to go, hang on, or find my ear. You think ears as big as mine would be easy to find, but that's not the case. Am I, Brad? I can't find my own ears. Brad has to find it for me. There it is. Thank you, Brad. Pretty bad, huh? I need help we, to find We can hear ears. you fine, Sensei. Okay. Ah. Uh, what I would like, though, on the Aikido, in using, uh, uh, let's say, receptive positive as a check, and for uh, Uke, it would be positive and receptive. So I would do the same practice as, as uh, uh, Uke, being full positive and fully feeling the receptive. So I do the same uh, uh, balanced energy practice, uke or nage. Okay. Anyway, and then there's different uh, uh, forms. Uh, so that was receptive positive. Uh, I could do frame flow. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's a frame work here. Okay or form if you want, uh, form. First thing I do is not, I do the form. Okay, it's easy. Settle open, form forms. The partner's form is flow. And there's a flow through the form, okay? Or some people like to go the other way around. There is a flow first. And after a bit, flow through this form. Okay, so I don't care which way you go at it. <clears throat> so frame flow uh, for me would be a, a reference for balance of energies. The frame and the flow should be kind of equal and similar and in agreement. And because of that, then something here in the uh, essence of that, middle of that, we're calling tonight qualities. But at first it just might be, well, how do you feel after having done 112 of, of, of those? <sighs> I really feel a fuller embodied. I really feel like I have a body here. What else? I don't know. Let me feel. Because of that practice, what's going on here? I don't know, I just feel more capable. I feel like I could handle work a bit better. 
could handle things a bit better. I feel more self-assured that way. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, and again, to get finer and finer balance, to get finer mixed qualities, mix up character. Okay, eventually that same pattern, there's a true self in here someplace. But behind that costume of character, there's a true self, eventually an original self, but I'm jumping ahead. Ah, another one would be a uh, morote, two hands grabbing. Boom, down, boom, up, okay? Keep it simple, easy. Down, up. So down and up beats are my energy checks. Easy. Again, I don't do down. I'm in the way. Easy and open. I allow down. I allow its corresponding partner up. Okay? Easy, clear. I want the energy beats to be fuller and more in harmony. I have to give them a little room. Easy. Down. Up. That down was fuller down, and the up came from deeper under up. I could feel that, okay? Or sense feel that. I could feel it. That begins to tell me that the energy beats are getting to be at a better level. Although I know they went down deeper and they naturally came up from deeper to here, okay, or higher. Okay, so that's my reference for energy balance to touch something here, whether we're gonna call it qualities or qualities mix up a character or who are you now? Tell me about you. Oh, well, I do a better technique yeah, I know that. I know that, but that's kind of a little too kindergarten for me, too kindergarten for you. But yes, that's obvious. Uh, my, my, my knees are more flexible, well, sort of, of course, but better. Tell me about you. And either we're going to use, uh, okay, energy balance to qualities. Qualities mix up character. Okay and eventually even more, finer and finer. Uh, so uh, three different angles on using uh, energy balance to facilitate a quality showing. Okay. Ba-da, ba-da. Receptive, positive. Uh, could use that one. Uh, and on and on and on and on. Uh, Okay, is that, is that? So of course, when you continue to practice techniques and you check in, of course you're gonna be a better first one with Shihonage. Of course you're gonna be a better Shihonage. But if as the years go on and all you've got is, now I'm a better Shihonage, I don't think you're going very deep. Uh, this is inner developmental work, inquiry. Uh, and that better shihonagi here, it will be like, of course. You've been doing it for 14 years. Of course it's better. <laughs> okay. But what's the quality that's here? Who is the mix you? Who's the character that's here? Okay, and it's just saying I'm a better she or not here. I almost want to say who gives a shit. <laughs> and I'm a martial artist, but I say who gives a shit? I'm a better she or not here. That's it's okay for starters, <laughs> but who are you? Who got mixed using this balance practice that we do for hours on end, receptive, positive, whatever, whatever. Uh, we're doing a, a, an energy balance practice, okay? I, I, I step north and I turn and step south, north, south. That's an energy balance practice. It raises up, it comes down. 
That's an energy balance practice. Oh, no, I raise it and I hit. No, I don't know what the hell it is. To me, that's what heavies do. And there's no, for me, no real inner development with that. The only thing might get thicker, might get a little faster. Uh, but for me, it's starting to look dumber, getting heavier instead of inner finer. So everything we do can be looked at as an energy balance to allow a better level of energy balance. All of the techniques can be looked at that that way. Uh, did I miss anything, Aikido people? Uh, open mic. Rien, nada, zilch. Yes, I'm here, Sensei. Yeah. Um, we're we're um, get getting to spend time in the dojo, and um, um, what I find interesting is there might be four, five, six of us. We don't have big classes, but um, if we're working on receptive positive, that and um, and it's only really something we've become aware of it is that the whole class will be experiencing uh, I'm more receptive and there's something short in the positive side or the experience of it. Um, but it's like we all agree somehow to have a good experience or a stronger experience on the receptive. And it, like there's this unconscious group action that happens. I wonder if you'd like to speak about that. Okay. Danny, I may have missed something, but uh, it's interesting because I figure you have a higher percentage of males uh, that they're highlighting their receptive because I find with a lot of macho wor warrior males that they tend to be a little short on the receptive and heavy duty on the positive. So I like that you're spending more time with the receptive. Uh, it's like, I call it listening sometimes. It's like their ability to listen, their ability to really listen, to really bring things in. Uh, so in whatever word you want to use for receptive, yeah, um, it, it's a fun one. Uh, and uh, in energy balance, uh, once you realize that, again, especially at better levels, that those two, receptive and positive, do want to balance out, okay? It's built into them to balance, okay? It's like a great he and she in creation. And there's a strong tendency within the both of them to balance with each other, to come together, yin, yang, hey, ho, whatever you want to call that. Uh, that's inherent in the system. Uh, so it's not so much, I got to balance them. I got to clear and open and allow them so they can balance. I hope that takes some work away from some people. You don't balance them. You clear and open and have them show you how they balance. Okay. And before you get the balance, you might want to do the earlier steps of just uh, let, let it show in what sense it's there. One of them, <laughs> receptive, and just highlight receptive and see the fullness of receptivity, which sounds like what you guys are doing. You're giving receptive a little extra time and a little more attention. Uh, you can't go wrong because eventually, uh, whenever you're ready, the positive will come in and be an equal size. Uh, equal weight, you can kind of mm, sense, feel the energy. You can kind of feel that the, the, the size field of receptive and the size field of positive are kind of, kind of they weigh the same. They, they, they feel like they're um, starting to match up. That, that's a sense measuring. Is that, is that okay? Uh, yeah, that's so, right. Thank you. okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Danny, I, 
Danny, as long as I got you on. Ah, uh, so you do receptive, positive, whatever, whatever, and your uh, energy balance is getting better. Okay. And say at the end of class, after doing all of this balancing stuff, uh, tell me about this inner you. What did you get out of that class? Of course, if it's all Shionage, you're a better Shionage. Right, we got that. And continuing, what did that class do for you? What that so, did for me, um, I noted that I can cut short how I, the I of Danny, cuts short the receptive. If I lose my patience, any of that kind of stuff comes in or I'm not really understanding, I will cut receptive short and I will want to move out of there because I'm okay. uncomfortable or something like that. Okay. Uh, to make me happy, stay on the positive. Yeah. yeah in this okay. case, I know what I'm screwing up kind of thing is okay, but... Ah, you've done an hour of training of, of balance of energy. Ah, what's there for you? Inner uh, sense. There's a you. I want to share the feeling that I have. I, I'm okay. more, I'm open to going home and saying, "Hey, <laughs> how are you feeling? I'm feeling great." Okay. And, and, so, and, yeah. okay, one say so. Uh, I know where his home is. I know his wife, so I know where he's going. Uh, I'm feeling better. I'm a feeling better person. And it's so, wow, I want to share this feeling better with other people around. We might have noticed it on the mat. Maybe you're happier with your training partner and you're sharing with them a bit better. Okay. You want to go home, share it with the wife. Ah, this nice feeling. Uh, so that's a little more inner, as opposed to going home saying, honey, I'm a better Shihonagir. I don't think she gives a shit. No. Maybe, but I don't think so, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so, so that, and there's more. There's more, but that's a good beginning. Uh, balance, balance brings you to Ah, that sense of oneself, that mix, that's mixing you up. That's you. Sharing person, I am to some level. I'm not saying you're the best sharing person in the whole world ever, but to some level, I'm a sharing person. Ah, feel yourself, breathe yourself. Let the, remember the energies exuding, flowing out. We covered that a few weeks ago. Uh, uh, the radiation out. So that mixed person, that radiates out, okay? Even a stranger ought to walk by you and say, huh, and catch something. It's, it's radiating out. Yeah? And there's nothing but more and finer. Once you catch on to a couple of tricks, uh, you can go as far as you want to go. Okay, as far as you can go, whatever. But there's always following the same patterns more and finer. I can't think of a better way of say, saying it. Okay. Oh, since they call that refining, you keep refining uh, uh, as you catch the uh, dimensionality as part of the ability of refining, uh, uh, as you catch the uh, uh, find your own simple tricks. Uh, uh, find your own form of balancing energies, whether it's Shionage or or Pada or Bibing, Babang, whatever, or breathe them <laughs> to represent energies. And after a certain level of balance, check yourself out, not just the quiet between breaths, but who are you? Who, what can you mix there? Uh, check yourself out get, and then clear it and go back to the basic practice uh, again with whichever one that you're using 
whether it's pot pot or bot bot <laughs> or whatever. Again, there are numerous possibilities of patterns you can use. Uh, styles, don't know if that's a good word. Again, O Sensei said to me, you have your favorite, but try out a few of the others, get the flavor of them. Okay. Uh, also, be careful when you have your favorite that you think everyone else should do that favorite. No, that's your favorite. They should have another favorite. <laughs> they may have a different favorite, but we should try out theirs and they should try out ours. Okay, Alao Sensei. Oh boy, oh boy, did I cover what I wanted to cover? Uh, better settling opening, better the energies can harmonize. better the harmony balance, the better the quality that's there can begin to radiate and mix up in your system. It's the qualities make you up. So if it's a nice quality, it mixes up nicer person. Okay. If it's a quality of uh, no power, it'll mix up a hit stronger person. M. Uh, da, da 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 da. Okay. Wow. Well, sensei, I think that this is Lauren again. I think that it yeah. not only mixes up a stronger person, but much more resilient. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, good. Can we hold it there for a moment? Uh, if you mix up in your idea, uh, it doesn't have long lasting capabilities. If I push you, when you've made up a centered character with your idea, you break easy and you continue to break. Okay. When you mix it up, utilizing this more depth, the stuff of creation, not just the, the stuff also of creation. When that mixes up, hey, it has resilience. That's the word you use. Uh, Yes. And it has more staying power. Oh, it'll dissipate eventually, but not in the first three seconds. Not once it mixes up, it has staying power. It'll hang in there for quite a while. Okay, if I feel it fade and I need to continue that level of me, uh, I'll re remix it. And then it continues for quite a while. Uh, uh, but uh, not fully partaking of the mix properly or fully, whatever the right word is there, fully including the stuff of creation. Uh, it could fade fast if you don't do that. It's, it, there's not enough substance. Okay. Yeah, Lauren, is that? Yes, yes, that? yes. Uh, I don't know anything more I can say at the moment. Open mic, say something. Prod me, fug me, nag me, be nice to me. Sensei, it's Mike. Yo. Hey, Mike. I just wanted to, well, my observation, when you do receptive, mm -hmm. or when you are being receptive, there is no sense of retreating or negativeness in it. It's still actually very full. Um, whereas I know most students, when we try to get them to absorb, it tends to be, it becomes negative. Yeah. Okay. Let me cut in. Yes. Especially the macho guys. The macho guys think any step back, any allowing, any opening that way is a weakness, scares the shit out of them. They don't really want to do it. A lot of them, the percentage is very high. Okay. Uh, so, yes, par for the course. Uh, eventually, uh, if you could guide them along, they begin to realize, for lack of words, the power of receptivity. Okay. Sometimes you see me do a technique where I just step back and I raise my hand and I don't touch the guy, but he gets pulled in and he, and he falls. 
either I got a great OK who's tanking for me or something just happened. Or one thing I'm trying to do there is show them the power of receptive. Step back and they get drawn in. There's been no positive thing except the thing on the end. I don't do anything much there. Uh, it's sort of what I'm trying to show. Go ahead, cut you off. Well, no, that, that exact movement that you just demonstrated, I remember in the last uh, time you were over, I think, or the time before, that you really gave me a hard time on that with, with the receptive thing. That even when hard I thought- Hard time because you was... weren't doing it or hard time because I was throwing you? What's no. the hard time? <laughs> no, because I wasn't doing it 100%. Ah. And, and to get to the point where I actually realized what you were getting at, it took a lot of it took a lot of times. I mean, I've got it now, but yeah. it really did to allow myself to to absorb without retreating at all in any sense, without having any negative sense inside me. Um, that was quite a, a, a difficult lesson, but a good lesson. Yeah. No, hard to get. Let's say a male mix to do. Let's call it fe female. Okay, bear with me. Uh, to do a female allowing. The guy is really congested as a male. It's damn hard to be an allowing, let's call it a female or yang. Okay. If you've got a heavy yang, hard to be a, a yin in there, if not impossible. So got to be gradual, learn a few tricks of the trade, whatever, whatever. But you got there. So whatever tricks of the trade, whatever seemed to facilitate, now you have a teaching tool. You went through it, you experienced. Now see if you can lay that out better to those people. See if you can present it clearer uh, and lead them along, hopefully a bit faster and better than it took you. I, I'm telling you how to teach again. You're saying, what should I teach? I just told you how to teach. You experience it. You catch the, the trials and tribulations and little tricks, and then you teach because you've experienced it. It's a good way of being a teacher. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you. Anybody, where are we? I'm off the board, off the wall tonight. Where are we? So, Sensei, this is Dave Flader. Yes, Mr. Flader. Um, <clears throat> I sort of probably, I believe, in your. Uh, untypical male in that I was raised in a family of women and sisters. Uh, so the receptivity has been easier for me, but the positive and uh, being self-directed has been much more of a challenge. I feel like I'm, I'm breaking, keep continue to break through, but it's intriguing to hear this tonight. Yeah, well, one trick is to, uh, I don't know, Let's say you're doing a receptive move and then a positive move. Uh, one trick I caught on to was to double up. Uh, if my receptive was pretty good, but my positive was ah, I would just double up on the positive move, just as a positive move. Give it twice as many turns to facilitate it catching up. Okay. Uh, uh, another trick is to do self-therapy. Uh, here comes a pause. Okay, I'm talking to you. I'm your therapist. <laughs> yeah. Here comes a positive flow that's coming at your body. It's going to go through the body. It's positive. What's your fear about that? Why would you close the door on that? Why would you run away from that? You're on. What's the fear? <laughs> um, what are you afraid it's of? How it's trained. Huh? I was trained that way to shut down. Oh, no, no, I didn't, I don't, I mean, no, no. I'm not asking history. I'm talking okay. to you now. Right now, okay. here it comes. This full born positive flow. Mm. Yeah. Now yeah. what? For me, is can I handle it? Okay, first, because if I can't handle it, it's gonna bowl me over. In what form will it bowl, bowl you over? What, what, what will it do for you? Bowl um, you. That's a good question. I'm not sure. Um, just knock, knock my ass on the ground. Big deal. 
You've yeah. not been knocked down before and you got up. Big deal. Right, right. And also, come on, uh, come on. inner uh, feeling. What's it going to do? Come on, inner feeling. Oh, shit. You do your own therapy. You got the game? Yeah. Here comes a hell of a positive energy flow. I'd love to be wide open and really let this so I can be at any time 100% positive. But there's a lot of ee, ah, ah, you right there. You play with your own. You, ah, and, and you be honest with yourself and feel what little misunderstandings, whatever you want to call that, are there interfering with you opening to a positive flow. You mm -hmm. Do your own therapy. Okay. Thank you. It's not that hard to do, people. Just be honest with yourself. You see? Uh, where are we? <laughs> did, did, did we cover that? Okay. Yeah, we did. Thank you very much. Talk to me, people. Talk to me. I got nowhere to go here. Did yeah, you just what? say it's not yeah. that hard to do? And just be honest with yourself. I think I said that. Is that too hard for you, Kenny? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I don't think it's that simple. Ah. Simple, but it ain't easy. I, 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 I mean, it is that actually simple. It's just oh. hard. Bob, do you want to say anything about the edge of your practice at this time? I'm not sure if this is an appropriate question for the moment, but since you're just saying whatever, I was just going, is there anything that is showing up for you that we haven't kind of, or is it that you feel like sharing with us now that we're ready to hear? Uh, are you asking what I would like them to say? No, I'm kind of asking, you know, um, what what else is going on? I know there's stuff you work on you don't teach us, and I don't mean to pry. I'm just wondering if there's anything out of that realm that you kind of shy from a bit that you might want to play with right now since we're in I are yeah, work. I already hinted, told you where I was going by saying one day all this stuff we're doing for uh, this uh, uh, balance to get to uh, a better quality that creates a better character, balance to get to a better character, balance to get to self. I hinted that I pointed that out a couple of times. I don't want to go any more with that. Although we did self talking to an over self as a warm up practice. Okay. Where I would like to head is to try to get, I don't know the words, yourself to be able to be present as self. Uh, we all have one. We haven't lost it, but we got spun in tight, heavy. And so the self that's there is kind of, I don't know, to, let me say minute. It's there, but it's minute. And as we unwind, another word I like, unwind, or easy, clear, open, so the energies can balance, that's an unwinding. And as we unwind finer dimensions, this is a dimensional process, uh, finer sense of dimensions unwinding, the self that's there can begin to show it's there more and more. And activated self. Uh, I don't know the word right now. Can I ask a question? That's where I'd like to head, but nope. not today. Thank you. This is Amy. I just have a question for you. Amy Oakley, <laughs> yes. Um, you mentioned there's this self, and, and I'm kind of relating to like, um, the question that you asked David and I was thinking you know that sometimes when things come at me um it might bowl me over but maybe I, I initially get um 
caught up in like an angry response. I want to be angry. So, and then that kind of ties us all back into this emotional stuff that we were talking about earlier. But is the self then separate from all of these emotions? Are the emotions are kind of what yeah. is the, are the tying up of the self and to sort of break or go through those emotions to the self? Self is ever present. Self's purpose, one of self's jobs is to have an experience of creation. Therefore, it experiences everything. That's why you can tap a past life, for example. Self retains the memory of all of these experiences. Uh, so self is participating. Okay. Uh, is aware of and participating. And uh, is with these emotions. Whatever, whatever's there, yes, yes. It's self doesn't say, oh, I won't remember sadness. I'll only remember whatever. No, everything, everything, everything. It must be a hell of a big uh, blotting paper. Is that what we used to call those? We call those blotting. I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it must be a hell of a great blotting thing. Everything that goes on uh, in your world, everything is being experienced. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe related as tiny form when people talk about they're dying and their life flashes before them. All the main things are, I don't know if that's related, but that could be a dumb, a small example of it's all been retained. It's all been um, uh, filed away. It's all been uh, Akashic records. There's got to be something of the self, whatever Akashic records mean. Uh, when I played with past lives, it was self remembering a particular life that was important for me and I would click into it. Uh, and there was a lot of nice details about a previous life where I had done some good work and could pick it up faster by re-experiencing it. Self has that within itself. So somebody could tap a past life because self is retaining it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, so no, it's the great experiencer, if I could say that. It's job to experience. Um, but best I can do, Amy. Thank you very much. We are moving along. Anybody, anything? Bullshit, anything? Sensei. Yeah, sensei. Sensei. Uh, uh, Sean, if you don't mind, I've got Tom on the sure, line no as well. Yep. Yep. You've Thank had you too, so much. Sean, so uh, hi, Sensei. And Tom, could you turn on your camera, please? Oh, sorry about that. Um, I had to reveal myself here. It, <laughs> spe speaking of here, um, I. There he is. I, yeah. You once spoke of, of uh, coming to terms with the fear of that's generated when one gets closer to the self. And the second part of my inquiry on that is how would how did Osensei manage that? You often spoke of him talking oh. about uh, who am I, who am I, and and you know, going through this exercise or this kata of getting closer to the self and the fear that comes with that. I'm just curious. Yeah. I, I, I meant to throw that question out one day to the troops. Mm -hmm. Why are we, why do you think or sense or feel that people are afraid of self? For, for me, it starts to show right from the get-go. Settle, I tell somebody. And they no, oh, man, they kind of get up tight. I say settle, 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 and they go, mm. I say, okay, what went on? And then I have to present it as an energy push. They can't settle because they're being pushed by energy. Okay. So is that the beginning of of uh, 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 a fear of self? First, there's energies. Then there's qualities. 
da 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 da. But behind, under, within all of that is self. I don't know, uh, afraid to sit with yourself because you think you're not a good person and yourself will yell at you for being a sinner. Sinners aren't allowed here, asshole. Get out of here. So I don't want to hear that. So I ain't going to approach that. Uh, so I think there is some kind of fear of, now whether it's fear of self or fear of all the energies around that, the qualities and stuff, or is there, I know self itself is, mm, what's the word? Has a lot of juice, let's say, but different than the word, way I'd use juice with ener en energies. Let's just say in its own form, it has a lot of juice. Ah, is the presence of that juice have a potential to push? And yet at the same time, I hear tell that it has a hell of a draw, that itself is trying to pull the lesser into itself to be the grander self. Uh, so is there something about the two beats of that that we could take advantage of? Uh, so anyway, it's a question I'd like to throw out to the folks. What do you think about being afraid of yourself? And why are you afraid of yourself? And give me an example of afraid of yourself. Uh, I, I think that's a good, uh, experiential dialogue uh, thing if, if that I, we should do one day oh, sorry, whole, yeah, whole class onto itself yeah yeah and then you mentioned those senseis i don't know i just uh i always make a joke those senseis running through the hills swinging his boat ken saying who am i i said all i had to do was ask his wife and she'd say ah mori chan <laughs> and the answer was what's he doing running through the hills swinging the boat ken saying who am i his wife knew just <laughs> ask her so I make a joke on, on that. But what was he doing? What was he doing? Yeah. You know, when uh, you told that story, I, I just, I couldn't relate. Oh, Sensei, really? He was, but um, somewhere a few years back, not long after we went out to the hills, I found myself in a kind of a similar place. And all of a sudden, it, it started to touch this sense of, you know, no matter who you are, there's still more. Hmm. For quite a while. <laughs> Don't think you're there yet. <laughs> One that, problem in that? the human condition is people, oh, it got bigger. That must be God. I've arrived. Uh, they have a little tendency to do that too soon. Oh, it's bright. Wow, it must be God. I've arrived. Uh, there's a lot of brightness between here and the brightness. <laughs> and anyway, uh, so... When you think you've arrived, double check and maybe twice as big, or let it turn upside down and maybe it's uh, uh, anyway, a little tendency to jump for people to jump the gun on, on that. Do the best you can. Well, again, his comment at the end, you know, this is kindergarten. That he still was, he liked the word refining. Uh, and again, don't know what level he was talking about. Was he talking about? Now that he's in the heavenly level, I'm not sure if he would say in the heavenly level, it's really kindergarten. That's pretty fancy level. There's more to go there, uh, refining, but uh, I don't know if he'd use that word there. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know. Uh, and Sensei, we have Andrew who would like to raise his hand. And Andrew, Andrew if you turn on your camera and microphone. Yep, my camera's on. Yeah. Hi, Sensei, how's it going? Hey, go. Hey. Um, so going back to what you were talking about earlier about, um, uh, you know, receptive and positive. Um, I kind of relate to a gentleman earlier talking about how he grew up in an environment full of women and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, my question to you is, um, even though we all know what yang is, will it kind of express itself differently from person to person? Is that possible? Even though it's still a uh, positive or yang or something? Oh, God. A positive. 
it's a big word. And then as creation unfolds and, and goes into tighter, heavier, you got all these tributaries off of that word. Uh, um, so we got to be clear on whether we're talking about some original heavenly thing. I see. Or what's happened in creation where the heavenly quality uh, dispersed, dispersed, went from a big river to that smaller river and that smaller river. Then it went into that creek and that creek. And, and so you've got all these different words and, and little different angles off of that same word. So it's, uh, uh, I don't really know how to answer uh, that. <laughs> Um, let me let, let me try to give you some context. Um, when I try to do my own positive, it's mm -hmm. either I like to, uh, you may have seen me too, but I either like to do really, really quick or really, really slow. It just doesn't feel like I can find a balance when it comes to a positive. So I, I was just hoping. Fast or slow has nothing to do with it. I see. Okay. Uh, not for that quality. Uh, you can have that quality and be very positive in this extra slow motion Tai Chi move. Mm -hmm. Have that quality, do it fast. Uh, but it's that quality. Whether you want to show it fast or slow or in a dance form or a martial art form or a hold the baby form. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, it's it's uh, it's the quality, and in your system, it mixes you up as a character. Uh, so if you think you need more, want more, then sit, settle, and call it up. Hey, is it a quality day? I'm not with the quality. Uh, firm, far, far positive. Mm -hmm. Hey. Is it a positive day? I'm here for you. Sit, settle, open, and play the game. It's circulating. I can even feel a little tingling through my hand. But again, I'm more sensitive than you are. But just to let you know, it is here. And positive. And I heard the word firm. I didn't hear it in the room, but I heard it inside my head someplace. I heard firm. Don't know if that means anything. So, so noted, and I continue. Positive. Welcome. I'll try to open to you as best I can. Welcome. I'm not playing a bit like breathing it in, inhaling it. Uh, nothing definite yet. Although I do notice I want to straighten and my spine is getting more distinct. Does that mean anything? I don't know. We'll see. Hello, positive, welcome. Welcome, thank you for being here. I open, it's a type of slurpy game. I breathe it, I slurpy it, I allow it, I invite it, I play the game. Mixing, mixing, hmm. What is it mixing here? It's time to feel a little more, I'm hearing the word determined. I can sort of feel it and more mm. determined. Mm. It was easy to do. And I knew I wasn't going to hurt myself. If I had more time, I'd have Brad come in and punch me. Won't bother me too much. If he has a sledgehammer, I'm not ready. I don't think I'm ready for a sledgehammer, but I can take a punch. Ah, I can feel it. Ah. Okay, with that, what kind of person am I? Oh, I feel more capable. To some degree, I can hold my own. To some degree. Not against the 49ers lineup. But to some degree, I can hold my own. <sighs> I'm feeling the stance of my body, so I recognize when this quality is here. There's a certain, certain way my chest is. Or, uh, something. I'm recognizing myself as it's mixed with more uh, positive part positive being part of the mix. I'm recognizing myself. Hmm. Then if I go and say, yeah, then I know something's missing because I've recognized this and this would catch my attention. Ah. 
I hang out with myself. I breathe myself. I feel myself. It's the game you actually play. Not a make-believe in your head. It, that'll fade. This is a, a sense feeling imagination okay but imagine feel experience Ita! mix you play the game okay ah play <laughs> <laughs>